Today we are going to be working on a Mercedes CLS 350. As we are going to do the rear brakes, we are going to need some rotors and pads. Next, we are going to need some copper paste, some silicon paste and also some Loctite. After that, we are going to need some tools. Common hand tools will suffice. Maybe the only special tool that you will need is a torque wrench. We will follow a specific order, starting with wheels, spring clip, guide pins, ABS sensor, caliper knuckle, and rotor screw. We start out by removing the spring clip. Then we move to the back and remove the guide pin caps. It's an Allen key. It's tied at 30 newton meters. Then we push back on the caliper and remove it upwards. Like so. Then just remove the pads. Both sides and they will unclip. Use some zip ties to tie the caliper to avoid damaging the brake lines. Remove the knuckle bolts, those are very very tight. And finally remove the caliper knuckle. Next, remove the rotor screw and then if your previous mechanics did an excellent job like this one, you're gonna have a lot of fun. Just keep watching. One eternity later. No matter how hard I hit this rotor, it would just not come out. I did research the shoes, everything, but still it wouldn't come out. So I tried a puller and uh, you'll see what happens next. What happened next was really surprising, but really cool. The rotor was completely corrosion soldered. Look, after removing it, it goes back in no problem. Nice and loose, and it can even rotate. So yeah, it was corrosion. So it is really important to do some nice maintenance. So here we go. That's nice and clean but I think we can do much better than that. Ah, lovely. Now it's time to push back the piston. You can use a special tool or you can use a C-clamp, one of the old pads. And push the piston like that. Next is the ABS sensor. Just pull it out from the old pad. Like that and then push it in the new one, that way. Copper paste will avoid the problem we had with the rotor in the future. Look, nice, ready for the rotor. Rotor installed, then copper paste on the screw, Tighten it, 10 newton meters. Install the knuckle, use Loctite, make it tight, 
60 newton meters. Clip on the brake pad on the back, like that. Then on the front, hold it and then install the caliper pushing it down, like so. Install the guide pins, making sure they are lubricated with silicone paste. Tighten them up. 30 newton meters. Now install the spring clip. Put a paper rug to avoid scratching the new rotor and then place the clip in the place. Make sure everything is tight. Reconnect the ABS sensor. Ensure to push in the connection all the way in. These will not will not do. They need cleaning. Use a wire brush. And what a difference. That's what our cars deserve. For comparison, before and after. And that's it for our procedure. If you found this video helpful or you liked it, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Thank you for tuning and see you in the next video.